Hi, I'm John Hinchy, a consultant with Logan Consulting. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a new activity entity in Microsoft Dynamics 365. One of the most integral pieces to Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales and customer service is the ability to track activities within your system. When you navigate to an account, let's go to Microsoft Corporation, you can see in the middle pane, there's a space to track the four out-of-the-box activities. These are phone call, email, appointment, and task. Within the main pane, the quick form view appears. You can easily track a test phone call called Jim. You have the ability to leave a voicemail, choose outgoing or incoming, and click OK. Now as you track activities, these will appear in your activity social pane and they'll move down each time you create a new activity. Now, many times people ask, I have other activities other than the four listed. Many people want to track, for instance, an in-person meeting as opposed to a scheduled appointment, which may be over the phone. Some other people want to track notes from a meeting or a conference. There are many examples of ways you can track different types of activities, but how do you create those? Creating a new activity is very similar to creating a new entity like you would do any other way. So we're going to go to Sales, we're going to go to Settings, and Customizations, and we're going to click Customize the System. From here, we'll go to the Entities, and we'll click on New. Now we'll call this Meeting notes. I have listed here. The plural we're going to keep as meeting notes. And we're going to define as an activity entity. This is the main piece to make sure that is an activity. You'll see that once you have this clicked, many of the, uh, many of the other settings are set for you, and it changes the actual setting setup the way you would with another entity. From here, we're just going to save and close. Once closed, it'll take a few minutes. We'll click Publish All Customizations after the entity is now created. Then we'll navigate back to our account that we were just on. Go to Microsoft Corporation. And if we click our three ellipses, we can see our new meeting note. From here, we can save our new activity. You can add notes, add a subject, and you can also customize this form to add new fields, just like you would any other activity or entity. We also have the same information we have at the top to be able to mark an activity complete. For all of your Microsoft Dynamics consulting needs, visit our website at loganconsulting.com. Email us at info at loganconsulting.com or call us at 312 345-8800.